Hello everyone and welcome to Mr. Simplifies Tutorials. In this video we will be looking at the effective version of the Bloom's Taxonomy. Now in my channel I've already covered uh, the cognitive version of the taxonomy and uh, I therefore decided to move on to explain the effective version of the taxonomy in a similar way uh, so that it, it helps complete the cycle so since we have already looked at the cognitive version of the taxonomy and I highly recommend that you check out my video if you haven't I'll leave the uh, the link in the description I decided to start off with a little comparison between the cognitive and the effective versions now they're both Bloom's taxonomies and they're both used to essentially define how well a skill is mastered so they're both they're both normally typically represented uh, as a triangle with the basic levels being at the bottom and the enhanced advanced levels being at the top and they're both hierarchical so you start off from the base and move towards the top of the triangle and the difficulty level in terms of the learning increases from the bottom to the top and then in both taxonomies each level builds up on the lower level so each high level incorporates whatever is in the lower level and is an advanced version of the same. The effective version, how is it actually different than the cognitive version? The effective version effectively deals with the manner in which we deal with things emotionally. So what emotions do we actually attribute to the, the, the knowledge that is being imparted upon us? is what is actually uh, studied in the effective versions of the taxonomy. Things, things like feelings, values, appreciation, enthusiasms, motivations and attitudes uh, form the basis of the effective version of the taxonomy. So let's take a look at uh, the actual taxonomy. As we see, it, just like the cognitive version, it deals with uh, uh, beg your pardon it is rep represented as a, a triangle so the basic level starts from the bottom to the advanced levels subsequently reaching to the top which is characterization so we start off with receiving moving on to responding to valuing to organization and to characterization also known as characterization by value set so when we take our learners through a journey we accept them to first receive and then respond then to start valuing it and then to start organizing it in their minds and then to build their own characters based on the knowledge imparted that is the goal of any learning session or any tutoring session that you might be providing let's let's look at each level individually with some examples as always uh, in a very simple and straightforward manner to try and impart this knowledge into your minds. The first level is receiving. So at this level the learner will be expected to basically attend the learning session, be aware of what knowledge is being imparted, be willing to hear or receive the knowledge that is being imparted and in general just be attentive and listen to whatever knowledge is being imparted for for example uh, during the normal course of any lecture or uh, lesson that is being covered uh, a new lesson for instance uh, it is common practice that each participant is uh, is allowed to be introduced to the class so at this level a participant will be able to be aware of the names of the newly introduced participants or even recollect it so that level is is sort of like the most basic level so if you're attending a lecture in your college just attending it you will automatically be at this level because you've chosen to attend the lecture the second level is responding so you're doing more than just attending here your learners are actually responding to the knowledge at this level the learner will be willing to respond will be reacting not just listening to the knowledge being imparted and at a mental level 
be satisfied to respond or be motivated to respond how do we how do we explain that in, in an example for instance you you decide on running a group discussion then the the participants at this level will be willing to take part in the group discussion will have something to contribute to the group discussion will possibly even give a presentation so they will not just be receiving information they will be responding to it in their own manner next level is valuing now this is where the advanced levels start from because at this level the participant is not just receiving the information or responding to it he or she will be attaching some level of value which is extremely important if if uh, if a particular topic or a phenomenon makes its way to the person's value system then the knowledge is definitely being imparted and there's more to it as we'd see at this level the learner will attach value to the phenomenon strongly associate with the topic and then also demonstrate commitment to certain values being imparted so not just is the person actually receiving the information but it's affecting the person emotionally so the person is willing to go out of out of his or her way and uh, associate value to the topic and build upon it if they'll also be able to build upon the topic because they associate value with it they are willing to take it to the next level for example the the topic of discussion is uh, assumed to be uh, some social changes bringing or you know, being brought about in the school or the organization whatever the context is uh, the individual who will be at this level will be it will be able to propose a plan to bring about a certain improvement and that improvement will not just improve things for him or her it will improve things on a social level so that is the importance of valuing the knowledge imparted moving on to the next level it is organization so at this level the learner who has already valued the knowledge being imparted will prioritize the different values and possibly even resolve conflicts arising from them and he or she will not just prioritize the values himself or herself they would also be emphasizing prioritization to other people for example emphasizing the priorities of work-life balance in an organization or a proposition to balance freedom for instance freedom of speech with responsible behavior so organization is a very advanced level and it is highly desirable for the for the for the teacher or the tutor that the students or the participants be at this level and it it is definitely desirable and is normally associated with a successful training or tutoring session the final level in the effective version is characterization or characterization by value set at this level the learners will completely internalize his or her values and behave in accordance be predictable in his or her behavior in supporting the values let the value system control his or her behavior so i i'm assuming that you're kind of getting the drift of this now the learner has actually progressed to a level wherein he or she has internalized the concept and is actually letting it change his or her behavior the learner will be uh, will have actually absorbed the knowledge to such an extent that it is it is it is typical of his behavior to be able to demonstrate that knowledge to other people for example the learner displays consistently through the commitment the thorough commitment towards the ethical practice of the value system another example would be uh, a very common example that a lot of people might have encountered uh, in their regular lives uh, multi-level marketing 
Now, multi-level marketing uh, business models are based on each person marketing the business to another person and bringing that person in in such a way that the person brings another person along and builds up a sort of a hierarchy of people selling uh, the same products, the same commodities uh, that the original person selling. And multi-level marketing normally requires uh, employees or marketeers to to get themselves to this level of emotion wherein they're so bought into the concept that they're actually leading a lifestyle around this value set. For, in, for example, just as, a, as an example, Amway could be thought of as a multi-level marketing business where each marketeer promoting the product will be at this particular level, will be at the highest level. It is he or she will be expected to be at the highest level and that is what the organization would recommend because it's only at the highest level that the person will be able to demonstrate that level of competence, confidence and motivation to be able to draw people in to the same level and then build up a hierarchy. Hopefully that was clear and just like the, uh, the cognitive version what I'm doing is I'm giving you a simpler way of memorizing it to remember the taxonomy. Now, how do we actually proceed from the bottom to the top? Receiving, responding, valuing, organizing and characterization. The best way of remembering it is remember that at the first level you're accepting knowledge, the second level you're being responsive to it, at the third level you're valuing it, at the fourth level you're organizing it in your mind and at the fifth level you're letting it become a part of you or a part of your character that's why it's called characterization so you accept knowledge you receive knowledge you respond to it you do something about it you just not just accept it but you actively participate in it so you respond to it then you start valuing it taking it inside your mind so that is the level of valuing and then you organize these thoughts in your mind and prioritize them that is organizing and then you let it become a part of your character that is characterization okay hopefully that was helpful to you uh, if you if you found this video helpful uh, let me know in the comments and let me know in the comments what aspect you want covered obviously there's also the psychomotor uh, uh, aspect of the Bloom's taxonomy, the psychomotor version, which will subsequently be covered in this channel. So watch out for that. And thank you very much for your attendance as always. And hopefully you'll be liking this video, subscribing to my channel and supporting this channel for more content. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.